a system 80 and 80A power supply. And this one was beginning to cause me to doubt my repair skills because I could not get this thing to deliver five volts. And I'll tell you about that in just a second. So I have replaced the headers, the three headers. I replaced the 470 microfarad cap. I usually don't on, on these power supplies, but I did this time. I've changed the CR7 to a 1N4738 and replaced the giant current limiting resistor there at R10 from the factory with a 680 ohm half watt. Replaced the trim pot. This is a 500 ohm trim pot. And this was the, the part that was causing the power supply to not function properly. This part is a T107 uh, SCR, silicon controlled rectifier, and the original one that was in this board had failed in such a way that it was only allowing 4.7 volts to get through to the output. So let's power it up. And by the way, I don't see that very often. And what that part is supposed to do is if the voltage regulator, I guess, opens the floodgates and allows more than a certain amount of voltage through, that thing is supposed to short to ground and then blow a fuse, and then that's an indication that you need to go fix something. So the first good thing is I've got both LEDs lit. I've got my custom tester here, and you can see that the 5 volts is now at 5.43. That doesn't surprise me because I was trying to tweak it earlier. The 42 volts is at 43 or so. The 60 is at about 60, and the 8-volt DC offset 6.3. Three that's unloaded that'll probably change when we put a load on it. So let's let's tweak this five volts down to where it should be. And I always set it to about 5.1 because it, when it gets in the game, it'll get drawn down just a little bit. But and 5.1 volts isn't going to hurt a darn thing. Now I'm trying to do this with my left hand close enough right there. So this power supply is good to go. On to the dreaded speech and sound board.